What's going on everyone? The moment is here. It is time to send these boys to Cancun. Get rid of the Memphis Grizzlies, move on to the second round. Uh, you're very likely going to play, face the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the Warriors game starts before the Lakers game, so we'll, as fans, have our answer before the Lakers end up playing. Uh, but regardless, get it done. Ideally, you want that series to go to seven, so maybe you know we're rooting for the Kings this game just to kind of push it to seven so the Lakers get a little more rest. But regardless, whatever happens, you got to get it done today. We need bigger games from LeBron James. Uh, LeBron James swore that he will have a better game, that he was, you know, you know what, in, in the previous game, he said it himself, and that he will be better for this upcoming game. And I trust LeBron James. I believe in LeBron James. Uh, I mean, come on, it's LeBron James. How can you not? Uh, we can't have a performance anywhere close to what it was. And it wasn't even so much that he had a poor shooting night, right? 5 of 17, 1 of 9 from 3. It was just a lot of, like, the decision-making, it seemed like, right? A lot of turnovers. I mean, he had as many turnovers as he did assists. And at one point, he had as many turnovers almost as, as points, uh, which is not, you know, a, a traditional LeBron James level of play. But again, I trust LeBron. I believe in LeBron. I expect him to figure it out, make the adjustments and be better for game six. He knows how important this game is. He knows that he, that look, we cannot go back to Memphis. Memphis is the best home team in the league. Uh, you're giving them all the momentum. You already were up three games to one. You lost the game in Memphis, which is fine. It was expected, right? Memphis, again, best home team in the league. Backs against the wall. They were desperate. And this is what you got. A desperate team that was doing everything they could to win the game. And they got it. And they won it. Kudos to them. You tip your cap to them. You move on. And you make the, the adjustments and the changes to get the job done. This is playing out exactly as the Golden State Warriors series last year. I said this before. You know, Warriors win game one, tight game, uh, and then end up losing game two, uh, win game three, win, uh, win game four, go up three to one, and then just got completely blown out in like a historic fashion and then ended up closing out in game six. Lakers have the opportunity to do the exact same thing. Memphis is young, they're hungry, they're athletic, they're fast, and you don't want to give that team the opportunity to feel like, okay, we can win this thing. You need to come out with that urgency, with that distress. You need to play like a team that is down three to two, and you can be eliminated if you don't win this game, because that very likely could be the case. You don't want that to happen. We also need other guys to step up, right? That was a big problem. It's not a coincidence that all of the games that we've won, five, six, seven guys have been in double figures, and all the games we've lost, that hasn't happened, right? Like the games that we have terrible performances, usually guys uh, as a collective are having bad nights, right? Like last game, Anthony Davis had a great night, right? 31 points, 19 rebounds, 14 to 23 from the field, even 33% from three, which was solid. Uh, but Austin Reeves had a rough night, right? He gave you 17 points, but it was four of 13 from the field, uh, three of eight from three. LeBron James, I already touched on. Uh, D'Angelo Russell had a nice little stretch, but overall, nothing really great. He did do some great playmaking, which is nice and something that I've talked about and highlighted before. Uh, you know, we need guys, even Schroeder. Schroeder has been atrocious. He had that one game, uh, the game that went into overtime, game four, in which he had 12 points, but he also almost sold that game. He had like three straight turnovers. Just he hasn't been the guy that we can count on. He hasn't been that uh, Minnesota Timberwolves Schroeder who's just closing down the stretch and just being dominant, right? We need him to pick it up. We need the bench production to pick it up because the bench has been terrible outside of Rui Hachimura, right? Rui has been the guy, and we need guys to step up. DeAndre Russell, I'm not saying he has to go off for 30. We need a little more consistency from him. He has been really good in those third quarters and even the second half. We'll call it the second half. He's been really good in the second half, but he has really struggled in that first half, right? Like this two games in a row where the first half, I mean, there's been three games this series where the first half he started off very poorly and then really picked it up and kicked it into gear. I mean, D'Angelo Russell literally saved this series saved it with his performance in game four, 
right? We do not win that game without him. But he comes into this game, and it was like, okay, well, that was the turnaround game. Great, okay, let's get back to being D'Angelo Russell. He was shooting 50% from the field, 42% from three during the regular season for the Lakers. Not saying you have to do that, but can you can you drop down 5%? Right? Can you shoot 37-38% from three? And can you shoot 45% from the field? That that's fine. We'll take that. Right? Go give us 15 to 17 on that type of production. And then give us, you know, six to eight assists. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm more than happy. We need D to be that ice in your veins type of D'Angelo Russell today. Lakers are better when D'Angelo Russell is better. And that's because he's a guy that can score at all three levels and provide some great playmaking. I believe in D'Angelo Russell. I have stuck up, defended, and hyped up D'Angelo Russell. I was pumped when we traded for him. This is one of those games that can really kind of be your moment, right? Here's your moment to show, like, hey, I am that guy. I am ice in my veins. I have had a rough series, but I'm going to show up when it matters. I'm going to show up when we need me to, which he has. But he's got to be consistent. Consistency and efficiency is a thing that we need from D'Angelo Russell. Uh, Same thing with Austin Reeves. Look, Austin Reeves has been great this series. Not going to get on him too much at all. Kind of can't, right? The dude's second year and has played like he's been in the league 10 years. Guy has been just brilliant. Um, Has, I mean, closed game one down the stretch. Uh, has had some big games, some big moments, is averaging like 17 points per game on like 50% shooting. Like the dude's done it all. But when Reeves struggles, the Lakers seem to struggle, right? Like last game, he gave us 17, 8, and 6, which is a great stat line for a guy that's our, you know, fourth guy, third guy. Um, But that efficiency from him, we need him to do that. We need that step-up moment. I don't worry about Reeves in big moments. I don't. He, This kid has proven time and time again that he was built for this. That he was built for this moment. And we're going to need him to come out with that urgency, get going and establish early. Look, I expect LeBron James and Anthony Davis to come out kind of trying to control and dominate this game. I really do. I expect LeBron James to, to kind of be aggressive more so than maybe we've seen the entirety of the season. Anthony Davis, same thing. We did a lot of really nice things with Anthony Davis in the in this last game that I think will translate really well and can continue uh, going forward in the series, especially this game six, which hopefully that's the end of the series. But even in later series, as teams try to control and, and slow down AD, a lot of great adjustments uh, by the, the coaching staff in in the previous game to get Anthony Davis going. I We need to see that. We need AD to have a great game. We need LeBron James to have a great game. Now, if guys come out and they're blazing, like say Reeves is like three of three from three and D'Lo is like, you know, whatever. He's three of four from the field and, you know, they're going and they're cooking and you know, Rui comes in and he starts. Like if it's a team effort and every, if it's game one, right? Fine. Let's win that way. Right, because we that's that's usually how we win is when everybody's stepping up. Right, we don't need LeBron James and Anthony Davis to necessarily go get seventy points a p or collectively. We don't. Uh, if it calls for that, we're gonna need them to. This isn't a game that you can mess around. Like if guys don't have it early on, we're not in the position to be okay. Well, let's let's keep feeding guys and hope that they turn it around. No, LeBron James and Anthony Davis have to take this game over. They have to. They got to get they got to outplay Baines and Ja. You have to. And Triple J. Right? Our two guys are more than capable. I mean, we have the two best players on the court. Literally. We have the two best players on the court. We need to play like it. And Reeves, we need him to be that arguably third best guy. You know, where you're looking at him and you're just like, "Man, this kid is we need one of those games." Um, but this game rests on LeBron James and Anthony Davis. It does. We, we win this game more than likely because LeBron James and Anthony Davis played like superstars 
played like two top 10 guys in the league. That's probably how this game is going to be won. Because you know Memphis is going to play with that urgency, play with as a team that has nothing to lose. Uh, we got to match their energy. They're going to be playing high energy. We're going to have to match that. And LeBron James and Anthony Davis are the guys with the most experience, have won a championship together, are the two best players on the court. They need to play like that. We cannot have Anthony Davis getting outplayed by Tillman and Triple J. We cannot have LeBron James getting outplayed by Ja Morant and Desmond Baines. Like, we cannot have that happen. We have to have these two play to the level that we know that they can play and dominate this game. Again, if guys have it, cool. Feed the hot hands, right? If Reeves is just taking over and dominating, fine. Let him. You know, if... if D'Lo was having himself a game, fine, let him. I don't even mind if LeBron James tries to get those guys going early, right? Okay, let me let me get AD going. Let me get uh, D'Lo going. Let me get Reeves going because I'm going to need these guys. That's fine. But if things are starting early on, are starting to look like, okay, like let's get, we're, we're, this is too close for comfort, I need LeBron to put his head down and get to the basket. The guy, every game you look at, okay, even look at the last game, as terrible as LeBron played. LeBron shot 5 of 17 from the field and 1 of 9 from 3. If you remove those three-pointers, he shot 5 of 8 from the field. The guy, every time he puts his head down and gets to the basket, cannot be stopped. Now, it's hard for him at 38 years old, you know, year 20, to, to put his head down every possession and get to the basket, but he's more than capable of doing it. I mean, even the previous game in which we won in overtime, he was 8 of 18 from the field, which is great, which is solid, right? But he was 1 of 7 from 3. You remove those three-pointers, he was 8 of 11. The guy's shooting like 80% from the field when he just puts his head down and gets to the basket. They don't have anybody that can stop him. Nobody. So I need him to put his head down and get to the basket and control this game is what I need from him, right? If Austin Reeves and D'Lo and guys aren't getting it done, he needs to go and get it done and make sure that Memphis doesn't go on some real runs because you know Memphis is going to be trying to punch us in the mouth. And look, basketball is a game of runs, right? Lakers could go up 10 and then be down 10 and then go up 8 and then be down 8, right? It's, it's part of the game. But LeBron needs to identify, okay, guys don't have, like, again, start the game. In the first three, four minutes, if guys, if we're not, if we don't have a solid lead and guys seem like, okay, they're starting to get in the rhythm, things are looking good, which you can tell you know, if D'Lo is 0 of 4 and Reeves is 0 of 3 or 1 of 4 and Anthony Davis is like, you know, they're they're doing everything they can to try to lock down AD and, and just hammer him and keep him pedestrian, then LeBron's got to say, okay, I need to put my head down and go get, rattle off eight straight points, right? You know, let's say they're up two or let's say they're down three. Don't let that get to 10 before LeBron James decides, okay, I'm going to start putting some points. I don't want to see the Lakers be seven minutes into the first quarter and LeBron James has two points. I don't want to see that unless we are up, like if it's if we're seven minutes into the first quarter and we're up twenty, <laughs> then fine. Or we're up ten, you know. So let's be uh, be a little more reasonable. But like, let's say we're up ten, we're up twelve, something like that, and you know LeBron has two points. Fine. But we need LeBron to close quarters. That's what we need to do. If anything, if he just picks and chooses his spots, pick and choose it at the end of quarters because the Lakers have had such a hard time closing quarters. We have done a great job. So I mean, even this game, right? We we were great. We were in it in the first quarter, and then they closed out in the, at the end of the first quarter, and we were down double digits. Then, all of a sudden... Uh, same thing in the third quarter, right? We closed out the second quarter and good things happened. Then we started the third quarter great and we got it to one from 17 to one. And then we could not close the third quarter and we got beat. 
we got to do we got to play a full 48 minutes of basketball and we got to start closing quarters and we'll win this game but anyway as always this is a discussion so i pass a question on you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below agree with me disagree with me how you feel let me know